Number one, our strategic communications have not been very successful. And two, even if we advance rewards, uh, who is actually going to risk? There were some, uh, some of those who did, but this is not a strategy to roll back against ISIS. The best strategy is actually to roll into ISIS headquarters and, and seize them with allies. And the second one, Dana, as you know, is to push back against this ideology. Who's creating ISIS? An ideology. And the administration, unfortunately, as you know as well, has denied Americans to understand what the ideology is. I'm wondering, too, if, if doing something like creating this hotel and releasing all of these photos to individuals, if they, if they're somehow, if it also bears a, a second objective to show people that, look, we're now legitimate, just like any other, any other state, any other entity. We, I mean, we have, to, we're encouraging tourism now. Do you think that that's all also an objective, Dr. Ferris? It is an objective. But let me tell you what kind of objective it is, Dana. Number one, they are trying to draw the attention of individuals in the West. I mean, this hotel is to attract individual jihadis in Britain and Germany here to tell them, look, we have infrastructure and so on and so forth. So that, yes, it is propaganda. Second, as you just said, it is to demonstrate that they have a state. Well, they begin with a hotel. Soon enough, they're going to be an airport, but they cannot fly those planes and on and on and on to just say we are now a state and you have to deal with us as a reality. Indeed, you're right. Mm, yes. And, I, and, and some of these individuals, what do we know about the ones that, uh, that this Department of, uh, our Department of State rewards for justice program, these millions of dollars in reward money that they're offering for the capture of these leaders? What do we, what do we know about them? Well, we know uh, enough information, uh, but we don't know where they are. I mean, we know where they, when they began to, to join ISIS. Some of them were with al-Qaeda, others were not. So there is enough information to determine who they are if we see them. But they're not going to show themselves at any, you know, <laughs> uh, service, yeah. U.S. service to be captured. The problem is the strategy. We have captured many jihadists. And you have discussed that many times on your show. Where did they end up in Guantanamo? What did we do with them later? We released them. Right. So why are we capture them if we're going to release them? And even if we eliminate them like Al-Awlaki and we don't replace the forces on the ground with allied forces, uh, they're going to create more jihadists. So the right. strategy is not working in my view. No, this, and what strategy should, I mean, what honestly, what would be the, the best steps that we could take to, towards perhaps decreasing the number of individuals who become radicalized or who might be attracted to joining ISIS and then also kind of limiting their spread here? I mean, what, because I, I, I just don't think at this point we just seem very timid in responding to it. Number one, you're absolutely right that the word timid is, is even timid. Uh, we, do, we need to do much more than that. First of all, the administration and Congress needs to come to the American public and the international community and tell them we are fighting an ideology. This is the ideology. This is what they want. This is their narrative. Who do we gain as allies? 90% of our people. Because half of the cases we had, Dana, in the past where we detected the jihadists, it was a U.S. citizen. Right. These are the first line of defense, then the law enforcement, then the counterterrorism uh, levels. But the most important is education versus indoctrination. These jihadists, first of all, are indoctrinated at a much younger age. So we need to have an organization that reach out to younger age, to moms, to teachers. There's a lot of things we need to do. Unfortunately, the administration has abandoned that work of war of ideas.